my name is Ralph Cree and I'm the creator of the Zen Ambient sample pack for Loop Masters. And uh, I'm just going to do a very, very short video introducing you to some of the instruments I use and how to use those instruments to their best effect in um, programs like Logic. Because it's not obvious from the names of the instruments what they look like. So, one that features a lot is called the Tank Drum. And this is what it looks like. It looks like it fell off a spaceship. It's the top and bottom of a gas bottle cut off and welded together and with grooves cut in, uh, tongues. And it sounds like this. muted hits on the CD, like that, and then open ones, and then ones where I'm hitting it with a stick, so they all layer up, and then on the other side it's got smaller notes. One of the key features of this instrument, it's got a very long resonance. And I built that into the sample CD and I'll explain how to use, how to make use of that when, in Logic. The Sansula, which is an instrument that features again, is this uh, thumb piano. So it's, it's a very uh, good quality thumb piano um, with a beautiful sound. And this is the Sansula. Use two. This has kind of got a happy scale in A, and this is in A, but it's a moody scale called an Akibono scale. I've included some chords in the sample CD with a vibrato. And one of the drums I've used is an Udu drum, and this is what an Udu drum looks like. It's a clay pot. So that's what an Udu drum looks like, if you haven't seen one of those before. There's loads and loads and loads of instruments on the CD djembe loops, shaker loops, vocals, piano, huge gongs, uh, Tibetan singing bowls, frame drums, rain sticks, chimes, and it's designed so that all of these sounds fit together with each other. So you could you could make an entire album just using this CD, and there's, there's loads and loads of variety, but they all kind of work together in an integral package. And there's some field recordings I made out in uh, the wilds, bird song and um, waves and those sort of things. When it comes to using the sounds like the tank drum uh, in Logic, here I've got and loaded in, the tank drum samples loaded into, well some of the tank drum samples loaded into the Logic sampler. And here where it says one shot, I've got that ticked because what you want is the sample to play all the way to the end so you keep the natural resonance. If I take the one shot off, you have to hold it down. So one shot is like the sustain. These are muted sounds. Open sounds. And with the stick. And the scale is kind of designed so that 
the, the notes really work together and you can be quite random in what you're doing and it, and it sounds nice. And the same goes for the Sansula. Again, I got one shot. I said with the vibrato. And then if you're going to use uh, WAV files instead of, uh, you know, instead of using it in a sampler, if you're just going to be using audio uh, WAV files, then what you want to do is here I've got the, this is the same WAV file there, this is copied here, and if you see at the end here, I've got the natural resonance of the sound of the goes on there. So the actual loop to be in time finishes there on the on the on the the beat, and I brought the next one in on the beat. So if I have those two going like this, you see it seamlessly goes into the next one. means that it's uh, got a natural sound. If you actually loop it without that feature, the resonance kind of cuts out and it sounds a bit unnatural as you go around. I think that's about all I can do in a very short time, to so just give you a little taste, and I hope you enjoy the sample pack. Thank you very much.